Hey guys, it's Imagine Trying here with another video on soloing Master Lost Sectors. So yesterday's video, we did the empty tank and today we were doing K1 Logistics. Um, so to go over something with you guys, Moon Lost Sectors are some of the biggest pains in the ass when it comes to Master Lost Sectors. Pretty much all of them are ball-bustingly, teeth-pullingly difficult. Um, some people might find them easier, I find them to be absolute torture. But I have just the right amount of sadism that I want to bring you guys this video. So today we're going to be on my Titan, which is my main character that I use. Yesterday I used my Hunter because I was going for the Radiant Dance Machines, but today I'm going to do it on my main account. Now Titan is definitely not the preferred class for this Lost Sector. I would actually much prefer Warlock for this. But you know what? I love Titan, you know, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to be using mostly the same setup that we used yesterday because, again, we do have barrier champions and pretty much Ariana's Vow is almost mandatory for barrier champions. Again, you can use the auto rifle with the mod this season. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. This Lost Sector is a lot more forgiving when it comes to that stuff, but there are a couple of sections where Ariana's Vow is definitely going to shine a lot more than if you're using an auto rifle. Um... <clears throat> Now, yesterday we did use Fallen Guillotine. I did say that Fallen Guillotine was a lot more consistent than Threaded Needle, but I forgot that tomorrow is the 30th anniversary, and with that is coming a big fat nerf to Vortex Frame Swords. So, judging by the numbers, it's probably not going to be as nearly as consistent as it was before. Um, we won't know till tomorrow, but hopefully um, it will still be good, but otherwise we're going to go ahead and use Threaded Needle. And this Lost Sector is a little bit better about... Uh, having enemies facing towards you as opposed to the empty tank just because enemies are going to be a lot closer and they're going to be beaming you most of the time anyway so threaded needle is definitely a weapon that you want to use you can use tarantula that will work just fine or you can even try using crown splitter i have one here with Vorpal, but because i'm trying to make my videos more centered around weapons that are easier to obtain and non-class specific i'm going to go ahead and not use that and of course we're going to go ahead and use my whispering slab again with swashbuckler and killing wind again you don't need a good bow to do these lost sectors um, most of the time, most small enemies are going to die in one or two hits, so you don't really need it. Um, I'm also going to be using Dune Marcher, so obviously I could be using Caress of the Falling Star, which is a little bit, which would uh, make this a little bit more powerful, and it would definitely make the boss a little bit easier. But again, this is about soloing Master Lost Sectors, so most people are probably not who are watching these videos are probably not going to have Caress of the Falling Star, which is fine. I mostly also want to show that you can pretty much use any exotic in these, and you'll do just fine. Now, I'm going to go ahead and load this up, and we're going to try to attempt to run. Now I'm going to let you guys know that you're pretty much going to have to accept that you're probably going to die in this whole sector multiple times. As long as you are killing champions and staying alive during the earlier sections, you should be fine. During the boss though, you are probably going to have to take a couple deaths. And I'm going to let you guys know that the boss has a lot of HP, a lot more than uh, the empty tanks did. So we're going to go ahead and just go through this. It's not going to be too bad. I've already done a few runs, so I'm going to let you know that uh, my first two runs, I had to restart. Oh, that's the other thing I should mention. So this uh, Lost Sector, especially when using Threaded Needle, has a lot of RNG because a lot of enemy placements are kind of out there and a lot of enemies like to use cover. And then on top of that, getting uh, heavy ammo is kind of a pain in the ass. So most of the time, if you're using a Scavenger, you're still only going to get three rounds in your Threaded Needle. So we're going to go ahead and blow these up. Um, and actually getting them to drop it is a whole nother thing. If you run out of heavy ammo, you are unfortunately going to have to restart. You're just not going to do enough damage to kill these champions. So the first thing we have here is we have this Overload Captain. Now behind him is going to be a, I believe it's a Vandal? He's going to be invisible. Yep, there he is. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and stun this champion. And you just want to come over here and take out this Vandal. Because if you attempt to linear fusion him this early, they're just going to get in front of you. And they're going to eat your shots. And it's going to be a bad day. Yep, and we got one that's running up behind him. Sometimes he runs up behind him, sometimes he doesn't. And obviously we have a barrier champion over there. So we're going to go ahead and stun this enemy here, and we're going to go ahead and take this guy out. And that's going to make it a lot easier to get at this Overload Champion. So we're going to wait a second, because obviously I can't stun him again uh, without cooling down, because that's just how Master Lost Sectors works. So now we've stunned him, and we're going to go ahead and just Linear Fusion Rifle him. So we do have the Solar Burn right now, which is, I wish I forgot to mention yesterday was is actually stronger than Singes. So it'll only take about three shots to kill an Overload Champion as opposed to four, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, you can still usually finish them off with four shots, but they are going to get out of their stun animation, which is make, may, may, might make them a little bit harder to hit. Now we have this barrier champion here, and this barrier champion is a pain in the ass because it's going to shield a whole bunch of enemies. So the first thing you want to do is look over here on the right side, and you want to start headshotting these enemies. Again, you don't need a good boat to do this. You just got to actually hit your shots. Yep, and there they go. Now what you want to do is you want to mostly stand right here, and 
just go for this barrier champion. Now, some of these enemies are going to beam you. There are times where you might die while hitting this champion. You can go ahead and use these boxes here for cover. I'm going to wait a second for my HP to come back. And when this boss teleports, yep, there you go. It's going to go ahead and put up a shield. So you want to be dodging around him, and you mostly want to be playing around when he pops his shield. Yep, there we go. He's popped it again. I am almost dead. I'm going to go ahead and just wait for my HP to come back. Because he's not going to shield right away, but he's going to get there. There we go. Now he's going to teleport, and he's going to shield again. So all I got to do is move over, hit him a couple times, and I should be able to just finish him off. Nope, got to wait a second. Now I can finish it off. And there he goes. Next, you want to go ahead and move over here. And you want to use these boxes here for cover, because there's going to be a lot of enemies that are over here. And you want to be careful up here, because there is a sniper who's going to be up there, and he might shoot you. And we have this captain. So go ahead and try to focus as much as you can on the little enemies before you focus on taking out the captain. It's not so much the captain himself that's really dangerous as much as it is the small ads that are around him that are going to flinch you and are going to do a ton of damage and just make your life a living hell. So go ahead and crouch down here and you want to go over here and there we go. So we've already taken out the sniper. That's going to make this a lot easier. Oh, there's another one. Go ahead and take him out. And there we go. And now we can go ahead and push the captain. So Ariana's Vow is not going to do as much damage as it did yesterday. Apparently it was only uh, taking out uh, barriers in two shots because of the uh, solar burn. Let's see. Now we go ahead and take him out. Oh, and we got the champion. So this champion, he actually came out a little bit early. Usually he's holding up right here. He has ambushed me before. So you do want to take the stairs up. You don't want to go up the, uh, the platform because he's just going to come up and he's going to beam you. He's going to ambush you and you're going to have a bad time. So there we go. We go ahead and stun him. And three shots. And sometimes it's hard to hit that head when he's coming up from that stun animation. But he's not too, too bad as long as you know not to let him ambush you. Now we have Sniper Shanks. And there should be three of them. You want to take out your Ariana's Bow because these guys are going to have Solar Shields. And again, you want to kind of play around cover. You want to kind of just peek, shoot, peek, shoot. That's honestly the best way to take these guys out. And there should be one more. No, nope. yep, there he is. There's one more right over there. Now we're going to start getting the Exploder Shanks. And there are five of them, I believe, in total. So you want to go ahead and take them out. They have ambushed me before and taken me out before. If they kill you, it's not the, it's not the end of the world, you know. It, it, you have plenty of lives at this point. You have six lives. And now we have this captain over here um, who's being shielded by the barrier champion. So you just want to back up a little bit, get him a little bit away from that enemy. There you go. And now these guys are going to push you. And you want to go ahead and just take these guys out. I'm going to go ahead and risk it and grab this heavy ammo. Go back here, and I'm going to go ahead and wait a second. Because, again, you don't want to push right away because they're going to have resistance and they're not going to let you stun them. So now we've taken him. Oh my goodness, he teleported really far away. Eh, sometimes things happen, you know, it's not that big a deal. And now we have this barrier champion who might end up putting a shield around him. And nope, he sure didn't. Oh, didn't get him. There we go. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a thing. You just have to time yourself right and don't peek if you're not feeling confident. So there we go. So now he's out. Now this champion can be a bit of a pain in the ass because he is shielding two enemies and we have an overload over there. So the first thing I'm going to do is headshot this enemy. I'm going to go ahead and stun this champion if I can. Well, no big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my super on this champion real quick. And I might eat a death here. It's all right. So go ahead and just keep hitting them. You can get in this little crevice over here, which would make things a little bit easier. There we go. And he's taken out. Now, of course, that little crevice is right over here. It makes it really hard for this guy to hit you. Not that he's going to be super accurate from this distance. They're more of a close range fighters. If you get a little bit of distance on him, He's not really going to be able to hit you. So we're going to go ahead and move over here. You want to use these columns here for protection. And now he's teleporting. And he should teleport a little bit closer here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit him here. He usually doesn't do that. Sometimes he comes closer. Sometimes he doesn't. But anyway, we got him. You want to make sure to aim up a little bit when they're coming out of their stun animation. Because their head's not going to be directly centered. I'm actually going to go back real quick and grab this heavy ammo. Man, this is actually probably the best run I've had so far. So go ahead and grab this. And we're going to go over here. And there's going to be some enemies over here. They're not going to be that big of a thing. There is going to be an overload champion that's going to push us right over here. So as soon as I start doing that, you do want to use back here for cover. You don't want to put yourself out in the line of fire if you don't have to. So make sure that you're using the boxes to the right or the left, depending on where they're standing. So obviously, now we have a champion up. We have a bunch of enemies. I'm going to go ahead and throw a grenade down. That's going to keep them from pushing me. I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Oh, I might eat a death here. Nope. All right. So obviously, again, I can't stun him right away. I'm going to go ahead and just headshot him. Go ahead and stun you again if I can get you, please. There we go. All right. So there are enemies behind him. I'm going to go ahead and back up here because he's not going to come all the way down here. 
and he's going to be facing us. So as soon as he peeks again, which he will, yep, there he goes, because he just cannot resist us. We're just too scrum I tell you what. So we go ahead and do that, and I am kind of grazed a shot, but we went ahead and killed him. So see, four shots can kill him, even if you don't hit him all on the head. You, it's pretty forgiving. You can usually miss at least one head and be totally fine. So we're going to go ahead and take out these guys. Now, this is the boss. Now, the boss is a little bit of a thing. He eats a lot of damage, and he's got champions. So the first thing you're going to notice is that he's going to have. there's going to be a barrier champion. Oh, there he is. So you're going to go ahead and just start beaming him right away. Back up a little bit and use cover. Do not go out there and push him because you're just going to get evaporated by the other small enemies. And he's going to eat a lot of shots before he goes down. But that's not going to be a problem again because you get so much special ammo and Ariana's bow gets about 10 rounds every time you pick up a special brick. So that's not going to be too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I could just finish him off with my bow, but I'm going to go ahead and just finish him off with my Ariana's bow. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just start ad clearing a little bit. And when these ads go down, suddenly more enemies, yep, there we go, they're going to start spawning in. And it's, they're going to drop down another barrier champion, and there he is, with his little minions right there. So what we're going to do is we're not going to get him right away. Yep, oh, he teleported on me. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. So he's going to go ahead and use cover here. You want to kind of just bait him out a little bit, and then go ahead and hit him. Luckily out here, most of the enemies don't really use cover too much particularly champions, so it's not going to be that hard. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of special ammo. So I'm going to go ahead and just cheat this a little bit. Go ahead and just pop his barrier. And if you have extra linear fusion rounds, for sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, you can go ahead and just finish him off with that. So that wasn't too bad. But sometimes I found that it's kind of hit and miss with how much heavy ammo I've, ha I've gotten up here and had no heavy ammo, and sometimes I have a lot of heavy ammo. If you have heavy ammo, it'll make it a lot easier. Now we have these shanks again. And I really should have saved my Ariana's bow because these guys have solar shields so if you haven't picked up any special ammo coming back you want to kind of go back and just see if you can find any because you're going to need it in order to take out those shanks because they do have solar shields and they're not going to go down very easily so obviously i don't have any special ammo that might be a little bit of a problem but it should be okay i shouldn't have wasted all those rounds i did have heavy ammo but eh, it's whatever you know sometimes you get unlucky with that stuff <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and go over here. Is the boss open? Nope, he sure isn't because you have to destroy those sniper shanks in order to get to the boss. So what we're going to do is we're just going to heavy them to death. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for them to peek. Hey, where they all go? Oh, you know what? There's some more heavy ammo down here. Oh, there's some more special ammo down here. See what I mean? A special ammo is so plentiful in these master loss sectors that you don't really need to sweat it too much. So I'm going to go ahead and wait. And I believe, yep, they're over here. So you're gone. You're gone. And now the boss, nope, oh, still got some more enemies. All right, so I don't really know what triggers the boss. I know in the regular sector, you kill these snipe shanks and they go out, but sometimes, eh, you know what, cause and causality. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start killing some more of these enemies. Uh, if I could hit my shots, that would be very nice. Let me see what we have down here. Nope, nothing down here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go over here and I'm just gonna take these guys out. And maybe that will, yep, there we go. So we go ahead and trigger the, trigger, uh, trigger the boss. So this boss is kind of a pain in the ass because he is also a massive pussy like the last guys are. So he's gonna hang out in the middle there for a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use my super. And if you're using Warlock or, oh my goodness, I just hit the ceiling. Well, I guess I'm not doing that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use my linear fusion and just start hitting him. Now, obviously if you have, um, What's it called? Uh, Geomags or... Um, oh, we have an Overlord Champion. Or uh, Celestial Nighthawk. You can go ahead and use that on him if you want to. You know, your exotic doesn't really matter that much when doing these lost So I'm going to go ahead and just hit him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill him because I kind of was a little slow on the draw. Nope, I went ahead and got him. Now, this is the part where he starts hiding. And it's you're probably going to eat some deaths doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and just hide behind this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just start shooting him. And if you eat death, it's not the end of the world. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and just go ahead and eat a death. Yep, there we go. And obviously, I could have avoided that, but, you know, for time constraints, I'm going to go ahead and just take a death. I have 13 lives. He's probably not going to, you know, evaporate me in 13 lives, but we can go ahead and finish him off with the heavy. Now, if you don't have heavy, you can use your Ariana's Vow and your bow. I have had to do that a couple times, and it does it. Oh, he went ahead and teleported to the right there. So once his health drops a little bit below... Um, one third, he'll start to teleport to the right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just hit him. All right, and he's dead. And that was easy. And now all you really have to do, we've, there's no more champions. Um, there is a captain here. Just wanna make sure that wasn't a champion, but it's not a champion. So we can just go ahead and go over here. 
And if I can go ahead and grab this, yep, and we got it. And I'm gonna die, but I got my platinum rewards. Did you get any exotics? But hey, I ended up completing it, right? But anyway, um, primarily what you want to be using for this lost sector is you want you want to be using Missile Titan. It's gonna do a lot of damage and it will help you take out a couple of those champions if you're struggling. Obviously, if you have Geo Max or Social Nighthawk, you can use that too. They're particularly good against the boss. Um, you don't really need any exotics outside of movement exotic. If you're looking for mods, I highly recommend using what I recommended yesterday. Just a lot of charge with light mods with protective light. Um, go ahead and throw on scavenger mod and double ammo finder. That's going to make getting ammo a lot easier. And it's going to take out some of the RNG, which is going to help a lot. Of course, overload bow. I went ahead and used a hand cannon loader. Didn't really have anything else to throw in that slot. So uh, made it a little bit easier to reload my Ariana's battle, especially because I know a lot of you guys are probably not going to have the catalyst, which gives you auto loading holster. But anyway... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And have a great rest of your day.